Hello everybody and today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on basic redstoning in Minecraft. So here I have a lot of redstone components in my toolbar. So the first thing that you gotta note, a torch is something that creates a redstone signal. It creates a signal of 15 which is basically the maximum amount. So for every next redstone dust, it, the signal strength decreases by 1 all the way down to the last. And as you can see, right up until here, this signal has one string, but this one is not emitting particles. And if you see, with the F3 menu open, on the right, it says power 1, power 2, power 3, power 4, and so on. And here it says power 15. And this thing says lit true. So that's one of the power emitters. Let's say that you want to increase the signal strength back to 15. So before it completely gets down drained, you can use a repeater. It will make the signal in a certain direction, which means if I have something right here, this won't affect it in any way. And it won't give out a signal to the side. And it also delays it by a tick. So basically a redstone tick is two in-game ticks, and there are 20 in-game ticks in a second. So each redstone tick is 0.1 seconds. So this is currently set to 0.1 seconds, which is one redstone tick. Then you can change it to two, three, or four. I'm just gonna keep it at four. Now basically what that does, it recharges it to 15 as well. So as you can see, the power here is all the way back up to 15 while the power here is one. It basically repeats the signal and powers it up all the way. So in order to better see this, I'm just going to use a lever so you can see when it turns on. You see that it has a little bit of delay. And that can be useful for a lot of things. I'm just going to get rid of all of this. So now, what does a redstone comparator do? Well, I'm going to take out a chest. And then, if I just put a ton of items in here, and then I use a comparator here, it will send a signal string based on the percentage, which means this should send a signal of 10, as you can see there. But then, now it should send a signal strength of 15. And this can be useful for sorters. And redstone comparators also have a second option. Let me get rid of all of this. Okay, they also have a second method. So if you right click it and the torch comes on. So what this does is it subtracts. So the incoming force, the signal stream, it will subtract the amount coming from the side. So here, see here, this has 15 power, 12 power, and it emits 3 power. So you can actually make some loops like this. And this will basically just cycle it as you can see here and this can also be used for some multipliers so if you got a signal strength of 15 it will set you can have a redstone contraction that sends 15 pulses so now there's a block of redstone this emits power to adjacent blocks so as you can see this piston just extended and it also releases power to adjacent redstone dust also, torches can also power the block on top of it as long as it's opaque. So if you see this block up here, it can actually emit a signal because it's being fully powered. With that being said, the block can be fully powered or just soft powered. So I'll explain both of them. A soft powered block has redstone dust going right into it. This cannot power more redstone dust but it can, however, power adjacent redstone components. And that means it can also power a repeater, right? Like this. And a fully powered block would be like the one that I said, in a way that you can actually make a block fully powered without being it right above a torch is with the repeater. So if you put a repeater right here, you can see this block can emit redstone signal and it has power of 15. So basically that's how that works.
and I believe fully powered means it has to be power 15 because there's no other way to fully power a block so that, that's going to be the end of this first tutorial I hope you enjoyed the future videos in this series will contain more redstone components and all kind of contraptions such as zero tick and some automated systems they can use and be sure to join the discord server and a roblox group you might not play roblox but you can check it out and also check out the game that i'm making on roblox as well